Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Micro Investor, where we do technical analysis and price predictions on many different cryptocurrencies every single day. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about Cardano and picking up where we left off in the previous Cardano video, which was actually a while ago. It was before the whole uh, situation that was going on with FTX had started. So this is going to not be one that I'm too happy about because, well, I had been very bullish on Cardano and very hopeful that the Cardano was going to turn around after it had hit the 52-week low that it had previously before this drama had happened uh, back on October 21st. So we had seen the price at that time. Cardano reached the price at 33 cents. And many people, myself included, were saying that the bottom most likely was in at that price. And we had seen the price of Cardano go into a nice little bit of a rally, even go up uh, a decent amount where we had seen within this, this ABC uh, corrective waves here that we had that Cardano had made its way all the way up to a price that was near 44 cents at that time. And then, well, what, did we, what ended up happening? The FTX drama happened and any hope that Cardano was going to have more price movements to the upside were just completely taken away. And uh, now let's look into what th the technicals are now telling us. Is the bottom in for Cardano? And that's the big question. So what we're looking for is potentially five waves to the downside. And the best way to do that right now would be to just turn this on over to the hourly chart. And then what we can see here with Cardano is if we were to start right here and make this the wave one, the start of the wave one, and then where do we put the uh, the completion of this wave one because it looks like if I was to call this the completion of the wave one, then there would be some interferences with what might be the wave four. So in this case, right now, I'd have to call this the wave one and then say it went up within a wave two and then call all this price movement here where the price of Cardano had gone to around the price of a 31 cents as being the completion of the wave three. It had then gone up within a wave four. And then now this is possibly all the wave five. Now we can still see that we had a, uh, a wave three and then a wave four and five within these price movements. And then we can, we can call this something else. We can call this an A, B, and then a, a C as a possibility as well. But for now, let's just go with the expectation that that maybe we might still be within a fifth wave or a possible fifth wave, I should say, because of course it needs to fall down below the wave three. So let's let's just say that this uh, sideways trading that we're seeing right now at the moment is all part of what is going to be the wave five. And then the wave five, I would say just before I put it in the, um, use the Fibonacci retracement to get a better estimate, I would say the wave five could be coming down somewhere around the price of 29 cents. And in that case, what we're going to be looking at is that the wave five had went from a price that was around uh, 37 cents all the way down to a price that was around 29 cents. So um, at a, a seven, eight cent drop within that. And then our wave three, it has a drop of from about 41, 42 cents all the way down to around 30 cents. So there's like a 12 cent drop within the wave three. So that would make sense. Now let's look at our Fibonacci retracement and let's look at this entire uh, price drop that we've seen from waves one and three. So looking at this, what this is going to tell us is that our, our wave four was about 50% of the entire price movement from waves one to wave three. And in this case, we're going to have to expect that wave five would uh, come down at least one Fibonacci level lower than the wave three uh, to actually complete. So if we were to take this length here and we were to just drop this down to our wave four, and what does that tell us? That tells us that if we were to come down to our 618 Fibonacci level, actually at a price that would be uh, near about 30 cents, a little bit under 30 cents, then that would be where it could be going. So one Fibonacci level below where the wave three had completed, which was at a price of around 31 uh, cents. So not much lower, but that's the that's the current uh, price movements here that we could possibly be seeing this all play out. So, uh, anyways, I know that that's not I know that's not that much lower than where we had reached our our uh, most recent 52 week low. So hopefully that's going to be the case. But there's still a possibility that we could be seeing it come down even lower than that. We can be seeing it come down to around the uh, 786 Fibonacci level, and that would put it much closer 
to about 27 and a half cents. So uh, it's going to be somewhere between there. Hopefully it's going to be uh, at a price that's just a little bit below 30 cents. And that would be the best case scenario, in my opinion. Uh, so anyways, I'd like to hear what you guys think about this. Where do you guys think the price of ADA is going to be going? Do you think it's got one more move to the downside and to complete a wave five? Or do you think the wave, wave five was already in and I just need to make some adjustments to where um, to where I'm calling the wave three and call out the wave five and everything that we're currently in is part of an A, B, C corrective waves i'd like to know so that being said i talk about bitcoin and ethereum usually every single day and many other altcoins as well so if you like content like this please do consider subscribing i will see you all in the next one thank you for watching and listening